Hey, Mickey. Hey, Darlene. Hey, everybody. Hey y'all, what's going on? All right, so we're gonna try something a little different today. I, uh, what did I do? Hey Ash. I was helping my sister, um, her school still has to do, what you call it, digital learning. And so she had this activity that she had for her students, it's more of a, the word she uses um can't think of what it is but it's like for them using their hands it's a word for it but i'll have it for you right now but hey kp hey grace but so i had some shot glasses uh-huh judge me not okay i had some shot glasses and so i have a lot of acrylic paint yeah i have literally i'm michael's joann's hobby lobby walmart and target combined so I had some of these, and so she was showing the kids an uh, activity where they could take the circle and paint, and it was really cute. And I was like, oh, that would be a cute journal entry. Hey, Fee. No, that's not the words. Um, mm, I cannot think of it, It's but it's strengthening their hands. Well, anyway, when um, I recorded her doing the activity, I was like, oh, but that would be a cute journal entry so i'm gonna try it on here i don't know how long it's gonna take to dry so i said well why don't you bring your second journal while that's drying and while the second journal is drying we're gonna take some paper out of this paper pad and do something with it i don't know what that is just yet so that's that um to everybody on here i hope everybody is safe after the weather last night if you were on the east coast it felt like we was in the midwest and your girl did not go to sleep until 5, probably 5 30 this morning, because there was a tornado warning at 2, I think it was like 2 49 into 3 o'clock. I was already razzled from the beginning of the day. Team too much. Tennessee got hit in Chattanooga. It, it just was a whole lot. All right, so I just have three random colors. There's no rhyme or reason to these colors. So if you have some of this paint around the house, this is something that you can do. We're going to also use, um, I'm going to slide a miscut. Yeah, I kept this. Remember I told y'all I misprinted this the other day. So we're going to put this underneath here. Matter of fact, I'm going to skip a page just because we testing this out. And then I have some. This is an envelope that I really shouldn't be using because it, it could be for a nice little letter. But we're going to use that. And so then I'm going to spread some of this out on here. I do have some baby wipes on the side in case I mess up. Make sure you kind of shake your paints if they've been sitting for a while, your acrylic paints, because they will separate out. Um, so I'm gonna do this, put a little blue right there. And, uh, do I have a paintbrush in front of me? Probably not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna waste, oh yes I do. Wait a minute, I got some little paint brushes right here. They probably, if you have some paint brushes, fine. If not, you can smear with your hand if you're not on camera, right? So, all right, so that's one. And then we're gonna do, oh, thanks Fee. And then we're gonna do a green. Okay, so that was blue, and then we're going to do a purple. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Winona. Hey, Gina. I think I got everybody else, and then we're going to do this purple, okay? So, yeah, I actually like painting on canvas from time to time. All right, and so we're going to spread this out. <laughs> Ain't let you type a message. <laughs> Because I ain't no telling what you was going to type. Now, you could use this as well to paint on your pages if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put this on this little dish right here because it'll wash right out. And then we're going to spread it. So all I'm doing is spreading it so when I dip in the circle, it'll get on the edges. All 
And then we're going to do the purple. And I say I'm not going to do anything with those paint brushes, y'all, but I probably don't mean it. I probably still am. All right. Just get you some nice circles, you know, just make sure it's about the size of your circumference. You can take this side or you can take that side. Y'all got shot glasses in your house. And if you don't, you can take, you can take an old barrel from washi tape and you can use that. All right. So I'm going to start, got a little paint on here already. Let's start with the green. And so what you're going to do is just make sure it's on the edges. Yes, y'all, I got, I had, I got like about 200 shot glasses. It was for a get together I had a while ago. So, you know, when we come up out of this, everybody gonna be having barbecues and stuff. All right. And so you just put it down, right? You're just making some little shapes. I think we're gonna do both sides. And what this is gonna do, y'all, is gonna be the background for me to journal. Now, I don't have the heat dryer. I think we talked about that the other day. So this is gonna have to sit to the side and dry. So what you'll probably see is me post this later today on one of my pages, all right? And you can either do it where it covers all sides or you can leave the spaces. You can make it as creative as you want to. And so this is what I would call like a junk journal page, right? No rhyme or reason, just whatever you want it to do. All right, and then we're gonna go in with a purple. If you have a little bit of, um, if it's too much paint, you can just wipe it off. But I kind of like the thickness of some of these. And then I'm just layering. over here and then if you wanted to use your paintbrush just in case you felt like painting you know you could kind of just spread this out and once this dries y'all you can write on top of it now keep in mind when you start using paint on these pages it's going to give you a crinkly effect so if that does not work for you, then that's not going to be your thing that you want to do, right? All right, so go into that. Did any of y'all watch Insecure yesterday? It was just okay yesterday. I was wanting a little bit more. But then it could have been a combination of I was watching the weather channel too. To make sure the roof was still going to be on the house. Because it was a lot going on. But I was wanting more. I was just wanting me a little more. Girl, don't Molly always get on your nerves. You just want to pop Molly sometimes, honey. You like oh Molly. She do tame too much. And if you want it to be distorted and you don't want it to be as thick, you see how I'm doing this, y'all? That's how you get like a distorted page. So if you want to spread this out, and the thing about acrylic paint, acrylic paint dries pretty fast. So I am going to distort this whole page. So if you see, once I start going over this blue a little bit, it's already drying in certain places, which is fine. Just know this paintbrush is real ghetto because it really needed to be dipped in some water. So maybe it ain't the brush. It might be me. How will we going to make some things shake with this?
And so like I said, pretty much that's not dry. This right here is dry. So acrylic dries really fast if that's going to be something that you want to decorate a journal page with. And if you don't want to add thick, you just put it on a little bit on the brush at a time. And so when you do pages like this, kind of keep in mind like a positive affirmation maybe. So maybe you want like a word that bounces off of this. You could do like black because black will always show up on top of this. If you have letters that are stickers, you can put on top of those. If you have a steady hand, you can actually paint. Uh, we ain't there right now. We ain't, we ain't right there. I ain't there. All right. So I'm going to let that dry. Some of this is already pretty much dry. So y'all see? It's pretty much dry. And we probably put us another little circle right here. Put this. So we done with these little shot glass. Let's move these on out of the way. Put this in the trash can. Cause now, if I were not on camera, I would spread like all of this out and actually probably use it. But that's not gonna happen today. And I always kind of keep like a baby wipe or something near you if you're going to get into like arts and craft type of stuff. So you can wipe your hands off. All right, so that's that. So for the most part, that is dry. Now, you can, like I said, you can do a couple of things. You can either take a black, some black paint and if you have a very, very fine tip paintbrush, which I do not, well, I don't. But this is a small one. So if you want it more like a thick letter, a thicker letter, you can write with that. Well, actually, a thicker letter would be more of this. If you have a steady hand, this is where you're looking for that little small brush, right? That's where some people will do lettering with the paintbrush. But if you like, girl, ain't nobody about to do all of that, then you can find one of your pens. If you have a bold point pen or if you, hey, Al, if you have a marker pen, which we have one. This is a metallic, not this one. We need the Jane. So the Jane Davenport marker pens, which might not be in y'all favor today, because it may be upstairs. I know I take all my stuff upstairs. Let's see. This is not necessarily going to show up, but this is a paint over pen, right? So if you have anything down, it would write on top of that. However, that ain't going to show up. Let's see if we have a white. All right, so what we're going to do is look for the thickest black that I have, which is going to be a 08. So when you're looking for a thickness of a pen, your 08, a 10, a 10 is always going to be thicker than everything. Your 08s, if you have a marker pen, will show up. So we can go in and kind of add some little detailing. You might want to do a couple of dots.
And so as you see, you are literally writing on top of paint. So you've painted this. We haven't even been on here for 16 minutes and this paint is dry, right? So you can do a couple of little dots. If you want to do, y'all know my thing is write your heart out. So I'm always going to put a little heart somewhere. So let's do, let's do a couple of hearts. And so while we're doing that, list a positive word that you can think of something that's uplifting and then if i see a couple of them that i like i'm gonna go in and write them on here so what is a word that when you hear it it kind of boosts your your mood anything that you can think of Smile, I like that one. And y'all know I live for a good little white pen. Okay, so we have a love, we have smile. This is where you can practice your different lettering. You know how we trying to figure out how to write new. Everybody talks about handwriting and they're like, oh my God, my handwriting is not good. Practice, y'all. It's just practice, practice, practice. So let's do smile. All right, you got dream. Oh, let's move these out the way before we keep having a little accident over here. I read mm -mm. create like that. Sorry, I got to see my arm. Full of All right, so we got smile. So think about dream, right? With dream, we could do the word dream and create like a little cloud. In my mind, that's what we're creating. Let's touch this. This should be all right. But if not, let's go ahead and put this just in case I smudge. So I see dream on the blue. But I also see some little clouds. And so I might write dream really skinny. And then I don't know if y'all have ever seen where you add the little dots on the end. Oh, thanks for joining. And so, you know, for me, when I think about dream as well, think about some little, you know, little stars. So I might put little stars up in there. I mean, I ain't drawing no real stars, but y'all get it. And so, again, junk journal page. This is creative art. Like, a journal page does not have to have a whole lot of words on it. It's totally what you want to add. 
So this is a yellow. These are Sakura Panzel Jelly Rolls. So they write on dark surfaces. All right, so we have dream, we have love. I think I want love in the middle. And so this is that paint pen that I was telling y'all. Well, no, this is the metallic marker that's different, my bad. Hey, how are you? So this is different, this is love. So we can make love thick. So if you wanna make your word thick, let's just start writing the word. I actually do it several different ways. All right, so we have love. You may or may not be able to see it. We're gonna add some white in to make it pop. Well, if I can find, or probably some pink. We'll probably do this vibrant pink or whatever color this is, it ain't pink pink. Hold on, we got a pink pink, so we can do that right there. All right, so to make this bold, what you will do is you're either gonna go on the outside or the inside of the letter. So I think space-wise, we're gonna go on the outside. So I'm just gonna do another line, drop it a little bit, and then come underneath it. We're gonna do another line right here. And then I'm gonna drop another line on the side of the V, the left side. And then I'm gonna drop another line on that E. But because this is not standing out like we would probably want it to, we are going to outline it, but I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. And then I think I wanna turn this page into a self-love page. So we're gonna write self up there and we're gonna write self in this pink. All right, so we have self coming. So as y'all see, the page is gonna start developing. This was my background and I can go and add whatever I want in it. Now we are gonna take the pink and add on top of that, but I think I want to outline with the black. So we're gonna outline with the black on the inside. We're not gonna use the 08 because that's gonna be a little too thick. We're gonna do a 03. And we are going to go on the outside of this. Well, the inside, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go on the inside. Towards the right hand side. So if you're on the inside, you're gonna go on that right hand side. All right, so the blue should be dry. I'm just gonna dot with my hand. All right, and so we wanna make this coat, that pink flow with this. So y'all know I like doing that little line thing with my letters. So let's do that. And then we are going to trace around those hearts. All right, so I am going to do half. And so I'm just adding some lines. You can change the direction. Totally up to you. But right now I'm just doing half of the letter.
And then we're going to take the white. We're going to come back to those hearts, but we're going to take the white. I don't know where my tan is. I love the tan white, y'all, because it's a little bit thicker than this eight. But apparently, that's one of my favorite pins to lose. All right, so we're just going to roll with... All right, and on the top part, I'm going to add some dots. Maybe. Hold on, let me think about that. Might not be adding it. Uh-huh, so my confidence was real strong on that. Let's try it with the five. Okay, so that white is not doing what I wanted it to do. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, it ain't gonna give me everything I need, but it's a little shadow. I'll bring it up to y'all in a second. Yeah, that's some foolery. Yeah, so that's not really giving me that shadow that I, you know, that I, but it's supposed to have some little dots right there in the little line. So that's that, right? So this is the start of our page. Developing. Now we're going to go around these hearts. We're going to add a couple of more hearts as well. Let's trace with this pink and you're just going on the outside of the heart And then smile, we need to make smile pop a little bit. Smile ain't got nothing going on for real, for real. So let's go around smile with a, let's do like a little squiggly border. Let's see if this green will show up. And remember when you're doing journal art, y'all, it can mess up. If it mess up, you'll just figure out how to correct it or cover it up. So we're going to have to go around smile twice. All right, so we have smile. So we still have room to add some other stuff. If you want to, you can go in and put your date. So let's add our date on this page. And I'm gonna tell you what you can actually do with this size. So let's just say this is your focal point. Like you just gonna make this page be everything that you want. It's just soothing you and it's doing all of the above. You can then go and let's just say we can put the word this week up here. And if self-love, self-care is your one of your focal points of this week then you're going to just write your ideas of self-care a journal entry we can kind of do some ideas and talk about that so let's go and put instead of the date let's put the week so we are in the week of i'm so trifling let me tell you how trifling i am hold on one second why i never change 
the calendar. Yeah, I got this calendar, Gold Mine and Coco. Do you let me know? I don't know why I don't change my calendar, y'all. It's, it's trifling. All right, so we are the week of the 13th through the 19th, all right? So I like keeping up with my weeks. So we're going to write our weeks, but I want it in a box or like some lines. I need a little bit of dimension on this page. All right, so again, this is the week March. That's not gonna work for me. That was a little bit crooked. So we're gonna have to make this a thicker line. And it's still crooked, so we just gonna have to roll with it. Hey, Leah. All right, so we have that. That's just to give us a little border, and then we're gonna put the week of. I'm gonna go on with a, if this is a eight, we can do a, let's do a five. And then we'll drop down to, I think, a three or a two. Three. So this is the week of, and then April 13th through the 19th. All right, so that is our week. I don't like how I wrote that, but we're going to roll with it. And I'm going to be all right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be all right. Not for real, but I'm going to be all right. So since I don't like it, this is where you go in and start add adding all the little extra stuff to it. Because you like, mm -mm, that wasn't what I was trying to do. So a couple of the colors we had on here, we're just going to go in. And add them this is where you just get creative and try little different shapes so if you've seen stuff online y'all you like oh I want to try that why not just try it again you either gonna mess up correct it ain't nobody gonna see it but you stop being yourself when it comes to using a journal Says the one that's having a fit about messing up. Hey, Brenda. But yeah, I definitely like junk journal pages. They're one of my favorites to do. All right, so let's talk self-care. I am gonna fill something else in with this. I just haven't thought that through just yet. Let's talk about this week and self-care. What does self-care look like for you? Um, what's one to two, three, one to two, <laughs> one to three things that you can do this week for yourself? 
So drop some of those things in the comments so we can talk about it. People can get ideas. You never know, like, y'all are some creative people. So I might not be thinking of something. You may. So we're going to put this week up here or self-care because we have self-love right here. So if you wanted to write self-care on here, you could. And let's see. Let me do my thick stuff. Okay, prioritize sleep at night. Oh, darling. Oh, Lord. You got to start with your hair. I shampooed my hair Sunday. Actually, early Sunday. I hit a grandma move. I was like, oh, I got to get in the shower before this storm hit. Let me go on and get in the shower. But I don't have a lot of hair right now, so it's in my favor. So when you're doing junk journal pages, one thing you have to get comfortable with is writing on top of something, right? It's going to feel awkward at first. Oh, but we done made a mess up. So we're going to have to, we got to cover that real quick. No worries. Uh, your girl always got something. So. see we're gonna do a let's do this green i'm gonna layer it we gotta cut that out a little bit because that was a real blooper that was a good out little blooper Yeah, my sleep pattern is whatever it wants to be on that day. And I definitely need to get a better a better sleep routine going. For sure. All right, told y'all a journal page can never mess up. Never. You can make what you want. Or correct. Since we met, since I had a little blooper, I'm gonna put this down. We're just gonna cover that little thing up a little bit. All right. So now we're gonna try to write this self care again. Let me start further over here. Okay, so your sleep patterns are messed up. So do you drink tea? Uh, I was supposed to post something today. I'm still going to post the inside of the Facebook group. I ran into this. Um, it was a posting like the teas that relax you and calm you. So I'm going to post that in the group. So that's interesting you said that. So you know I have been in the bed around 1.30 every night. Okay, play in the dirt, plant flowers. Oh, so that's cute. Like if you were playing in the dirt and plant flowers, I would probably draw like a flower pot on my page or something like that. And that's one little activity. So sometimes doodling is really cool to do on your journal pages or your, I, I call it the idea self-care. Let's say we're going to call it self-care ideas.
Yes, I do a sleepy time tea, the extra. Sleepy time tea extra. It's really good. And then chamomile and lavender work. Like I messed up one morning, woke up, and I was already still a little bit sleepy. And for some crazy reason, I had the bright idea of drinking lavender and chamomile tea in the morning. So I ended up going back to sleep. I can't even say taking a nap. I went back to bed and woke up that afternoon. So those are some relaxing teas. And like I said, I'll add that list in the Facebook group, the original journal Jot and Jive. If you're not in there, I'll add that. 30 minutes of quiet time, even if you have to go sit in your closet to be alone. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, the comments. So y'all be very careful if you're gonna start getting into teas and just make sure you don't drink no soothing tea <laughs> at the top of your day. Because that right there is not gonna be your friend. definitely won't all right so all i'm doing now is just a little cohesiveness across the pages not necessary all right so if you one of your things is you're going to work on your sleep pattern you may want to write go to bed by whatever date that is right um turn off the TV or so for me, I can read at night and it'll make me sleepy. Like the book can be really, really good, but it's something about reading in the bed that like, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm sleepy. I'm good. So if that's something that's going to help. Okay, take a walk. For me this week, I'm going to do a face mask. So if you have face mask sitting around the house, I just started using um, anti-wrinkle moisturizers and stuff. I was like, hold on now. I got to start, uh, which I started this year anyway, was my um, facial regimen. So that's one thing that I'm like, nah, I can't slip up on that one. Yep, exfoliating. So what I can do, if y'all are going to try something like this, you could possibly put each activity that you think you're going to do. Um, I'm going to do a couple of podcasts this week. I got to catch up on quite a few podcasts. So I'm going to do listen to podcasts. All right, so we're going to listen to a podcast. We're going to do um, face mask, facial mask.
I'm going to also add on here unplug. So I need to find a couple of hours each day to unplug, like no phone, no scrolling, right? So when we talk about unplug, some of you all have the journal prompts now. When we're talking about unplugging, unplugging does not mean I'm not on social media, but I'm watching TV, right? Unplugging is total for me removing the electronics right so that's where the book will come in journaling facial masks uh pedicure spending time with yourself reading anything that's not because if you have a phone in your hand i don't care if you're like oh i'm just gonna listen to this podcast out of habit even if you don't have your podcast you'll find a tablet you'll find a computer and you will run right back to what you know so unplugging for me no electronics right so unplug I want to put that in bold. Um, what I am noticing is when I minimize watching the news, my day goes better. Um, week one, two, three, four, I just had to be in the know, in the know, in the know. There have been two days where I have not looked at the news and it is such a huge difference in like my anxiety levels, how I'm feeling, how the flow of my day goes. So unplugging is very, very vital for me, right? So we want to make that a focal point. And I want to do that daily. Yes, I am here for lighting candles all the time. I do candles. Um, I do my diffuser every day. I've started doing, I'm going to put tea time even though I do that every day. I do tea in the morning and tea at night. I do my diffuser once a day uh, with the essential oils. So let's do tea time somewhere on here. And if y'all are noticing, I'm changing the sizing of the markers just so it looks a little different. Yeah, like my favorite place to get candles, y'all, is um, don't sleep on Walmart mainstay candles. They burn amazingly. Uh, but I also do Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx. If you can't find me on the notebook owl, you're going to find me on the candle owl. All right, so we have tea time. And another word, relax, right? Just relax. Sometimes we don't even know how to do that. Oh, yeah, Bath and Body Works candles are amazing, too. They just cost too much. I don't be here for them. And, you know, that whole get in line for the sale, mm -mm, change about their life. Oh, never try all these candles, okay? Got to keep that on my list. Um, oh, and y'all know who else candles are good, too? Um, oh, what's the place? I like this place. Ikea Tea Light Candles? Don't sleep on them. They burn amazing. So I have a lot of candle holders. So I have one that when you put the candle in, it, it has like all these different colors and it reflects off the wall. And then I have an owl um, candle holder and it illuminates the aisle with the aisle, the owl <laughs> with the tea lights. Their tea lights are really, really good. All right. So remember one thing we could say is just relax or relax, girl. That's what I'm telling myself. Relax, girl. And so believe it or not, yes, a lot of us are on, um, what are these things called? We got to stay home, right? And many of us feel like we're relaxing. Everybody's not relaxing. Just because you may be at your house kicking it, feet up in the air, that's not everybody's truth, right? Yes, Leah. So I just started looking up different teas. So I have... Um, 
I have a T for energy. It's tangerine and energy, y'all. So a couple of my, I like stash tea. I like uh, celestial tea. I like Tivana. Um, I am missing some off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure Leah can name some of them because she actually drinks more tea than I do. I am actually a coffee drinker. However, I can't go to my coffee shop. So instead of buying all of the expensive coffees, I've been on a tea binge. Um, ginger tea is very good. Ginger and lemon is good if you have mucus buildup. I don't know if any of you all have noticed a difference. If you feel like you have more mucus and stuff, you're going to do fresh ginger, lemon, and honey. Yeah, why well, not? A lot of people are actually doing more work than they would have done in their office building, right? Yeah, so it's a huge difference. All right, so relax. Tea time, listen to a podcast, unplug daily, face mask. We know I'm going to journal, so let's go ahead and write. I'm going to do write your heart out. And so I've really been doing that, y'all. Like, my journals are almost filled. We are right here with this one. And we are right here with that one. So these journals, <laughs> they're going to be gone, okay? They're going to be full. Oh, thank you, Keisha. All right, so we have Write Your Heart Out. I'm going to go on and color that little heart in. Oh, I'm going to color the heart in red. Let's pull the red up. Okay, no, you don't want to work? Oh, there it is. All right, and so you don't have to fill this all up, right? Some people are going to feel like, well, I got all of these circles. I need to fill them up. If you don't want to fill all of them up, you can go in and kind of shade it so that that stands out, whatever you wrote. I'm trying to think, is there anything? Oh, mm, you girl need to do a pedicure, honey, because these feet, ooh, chap. It is pedicure season. Oh, welcome to the person that put the thumbs down, y'all. Our friend is back. We haven't seen you in a couple of um, visits. Um, so let's do pedicure. I think we can fit pedicure right here. I'm going to have to write real skinny. All right. So I can definitely tell you that I miss some of the small things in life you take for granted. And I'm in the service industry, but the pedicure and the nails, I definitely am missing. Oh, I can show you how to do a tip in now. Um, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. All right, so tip ins, there's a roll. I don't have it. So since I don't have this uh, tape that you can actually put on the end, it's like a skinny thing. But if you don't have that, we're going to use, we're going to use some washi tape. This would not be my ideal washi tape to use, but I'm just grabbing whatever is in front of me. All right, and so let's say you want to and so oh another thing y'all when you paint your pages they're going to be a little bit stiffer but not that much remember i left this blank so let's tip a page in on this side and then we'll come back and finish that and then we'll be done for the day y'all all right so let's say we're going to tip in since we talked about this earlier so i sometimes like doing journal entries so let's just say you like oh i want to write about this but i'm just not quite sure if i want somebody to see what I'm writing. I like tip ins to hide journal entries. All right, so we're gonna need to measure this because this is gonna be one of your smaller types of journals. So you're gonna have, um, and this is thicker paper, right? So ideally I would typically use something that is not as thick, so like your vellum your acetate 
and your scrap paper. So cardstock and scrapbooking paper are not the same paper weight. Let's do my show went on nobody line. That was not straight. But no words. No words. Alright, so let's just say you like, ah, oh, this today, it ain't one of the best days, I ain't feeling it. Um, and you want to write something, but you're, some of you all are like, oh, Lord, if somebody find my, my journal, they going to see it all. They ain't got to see it all, because if a nosy person is reading, they're going to flip. And they're not going to be like, oh, I need to lift this up, right? We're going to do a side tip in. And even though I'm fake playing like I'm going to put that one in, I'm not. Let's do this. I know we used this the other day. All right. So I'm going to turn the book this way. Now, I'm going to pull it out so I can put a wider strip. Typically, you can find a, a thinner strip of washi like this if you don't want a lot of the washi showing. But because this has a little decor on it, it's fine. So we are going to... Let me paper clip it down first. You don't have to paper clip it, but I am more than likely going to move this. And this is not the traditional paper clip that you would use. But this is what's in front of me. One of the planner babes, Nikki, got me this. That's Libra. That's my sign. All right. So just want to make sure it's where you want it to be. Slide it over just a little bit. All right, now we're going to take the washi, and we are going to washi it in. Now, if you're going to want to move this around, you don't have to put any glue or any tape runner glue. I'm not going to do either right now, but if you want this to stay in, then you are going to glue that washi down before you let it stay. Like, you can lift it up and put a little bit of tape runner. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Loose leaf teas are good. But, Leah, you know I ain't going to nobody market right now. And the market has a good selection. All right. So, you see how we did that? You just tipped it in. And you flip it. Now, I typically will do a double layer just because it makes me feel better. So, let's do... And you want to make sure that it's slightly on the other page as well. And it's going to kind of give you a crease. Now, this is my tipping me uh, method. Everybody tips in a little bit differently. And like I said, there is, um, it's this tape, but it's very skinny that you can buy when I buy it. I'll let y'all know. All right, smooth that down. And so that's your tip in. Yeah, I like stash. So that's that, right? So you can, again, layer this. You can do like a quote. And so maybe you might say, today was, right? Now, if you don't want anybody else to get in it, what you would do, which nobody would see, but we ain't going to waste this little bit. Hold on. You can always take a piece of washi. You can take a piece of washi and you just tape it down so it's just easy to flip the page and keep it moving. But of course, I would probably put a piece on this end and a piece on that end. And that kind of keeps you a little bit of security behind that page. So that is how I tip in stuff, y'all. Um, 
Oh, I can show y'all one last thing. I, I'm seeing all this stuff popping up. I don't know if any of you all, again, if you're anything like me and you go into those arts and craft stores, you're like, oh, I need this. I need this. I need this. Why do you need dry, dry petals? Why? You don't know. I don't know. But we have dry petals. Dry petals are nice elements to add to your journals. So if you have dry petals and you've never known, like, what can I do with it? You can take it and you can glue them down. Now, I'm not going to glue it down. I just wanted to show y'all. But you can either let it stay elevated and just do a small little dot and it'll have like a 3D effect. Or you can actually put it down like... Somebody like me, I would layer this whole page with something and write on it. So just in case you all have some of that. And it comes in like different textures. This one is layered. So it's really, really cool to make your pages pop and feel like something different. So it doesn't feel like you're doing the same thing all of the time. Do any of you all have any questions? We have three minutes before the hour mark. I told y'all I'd be on it. Be on it with the time. And this is the page most of you all saw me post yesterday about pause on purpose. So if you have your journal prompts, remember to do your journal prompts. This was not a journal prompt per se. This was just something that I wrote straight off the dome. But it aligned with pause on purpose. And then that's our tipping page, which I really like. That's going to be a cute journal entry. And then remember your self-care ideas. So my suggestion to you, one to three self-care ideas. If self-care is not your thing, please don't go in trying to do eraser. Please don't go in trying to do one, two, three, four, five, six, wait a minute, one, two, three. Please don't try to go in trying to do seven things and that's not your thing, right? So don't overstress yourself like, oh my gosh, I don't I don't have enough things to do. Show yourself grace. That's self-care. I think sometimes we think it has to be an action right then and there. Sometimes it's just be still. If you've been on the go and you just need a little bit of time, that's why this thing ain't right, y'all, because some of the blue is still on there. Dang it. Oh, be my friend. Okay, there you go. But, yeah, don't beat yourself up. One to three things this week for self-care. Oh, y'all, let me write on here another one. Um, and I did it today. Exercise. I've been doing virtual exercise classes. Today I did a standing ab class. That's going to hurt. Uh, a couple of days ago, I did another standing ab class. Um, his name is Guru of Abs. He's here in Atlanta, but he goes on every day at 12 and 8 p.m. I do um, X28 Lives, um, glute camp for my butt so it can lift because, you know, I've been sitting down a little too much. Um, what else do I do? One of my, um, she's a year under me from college, Lola underscore L. She has a nice Zumba class. Y'all like, it's so much stuff out here to do. Okay, so you do virtual Zumba? Yeah, so if y'all get a chance, check out, um, Leah, am I saying this right? I, I'm, I'm going to put both of her things, y'all. I can't remember IG. Oh, Lord, I didn't, hold on, where my chat go? Oh, here it is. IG. It's Lola underscore L. So that's one. Um... That's another one. Y'all, when I tell you, I'm not really, um, I'm coordinated on my own. Um, but when somebody telling me what to do, when I tell y'all, like, I was drenched in sweat doing her Zumba class. Oh, you have? Awesome. Okay, you do body groove features. So, yeah, like, y'all get moving. I know, I know, I know, I know. Like, so I don't feel like doing it. A little bit goes a long way. Even if it's 10 to 20 minutes per day, start where you are. You do not have to do a full 30 minutes. 
but we got to be realistic with ourselves. If one of these things is to get our immune system moving, you got to do something different, right? If you've been, and we talked about this uh, the last time I was on live, you know, so many people have prayed for X, Y, and Z, but you're not doing anything different to get the results that you want. Okay, so you have a yoga app. Y'all, I gotta, I gotta find out how to bond with yoga. Uh, we don't get along. We do not. Mm -mm. I gotta stop fighting it. Um, also, there is Elm Fly Fitness. I'm trying to give y'all a variety. Ooh, ooh. If I don't spell this right, it's uh -uh, okay. That don't feel right. Hold on. This is another one she uses, like resistance bands and stuff. If it ain't spell right, it'll it'll come up. It is too wise in the fly that I do know, but it'll come up. Um, but yeah, y'all, just a little movement, even if it's not every day, if it's three times out of the week. That's what my whole point was to write that word down, exercise. Um, yeah, a little movement each day. Hydrate, drink your water. Yes, we're going to eat our snacks. Ain't nobody saying we about to do a whole 180. Everybody say 360, 360, bring you right back to the point you started. So everybody's not necessarily doing a 180, but you can do a 90, you know. You ain't got to do a 180, but you can do a 90. You can do a 45 degree move, right? As long as you're moving and doing something different, you'll get different results. Um, water. If you usually drink half a bottle of water, your goal will be to drink a bottle of water, right? Ain't nobody about to tell you to go drink no gallon, right? That's not realistic. But try something different. So my rule to y'all today, take a 45 degree move. All right. Next time, take it to one, um, take it to 90 degrees. Then take it to 180 and you'll see results. Oh, you about to do your virtual class, Leah? One day I'll know how to do the downward dog and not get mad when they be moving to the next post. I'm gonna get there. I am. But yeah, y'all, so just small changes so whatever those changes you want to see write it in your journal um i would even highly suggest going back to your vision board what were some of those things that you said you wanted to do in 2020 um i would also encourage you all to stop telling 2020 she trash because the more y'all keep telling 2020 she trash she is showing you what you're you're putting out okay so let's tell homegirl you know what you creative Okay, we got to stop telling her she trash. We got to stop telling her she canceled because she keep canceling everything. The more you put out negativity, it's what you emit. It's what you bring back. So I'm just going to say we in this reset, right? 2020 is allowing us to reset, allowing us to get to another level. I ain't going to keep speaking down on her because she's going to keep me um, put up in this house. And so 2020, you know, you're just resetting us. That's it. Um, we starting to see it slowly. So whatever it is that you need to do, something that you want to work on, if it's fitness, put fitness on your page, write your ideas down. If it is finances, do a page like this, finances, write your ideas down and just work on those small movements, y'all. You are definitely worth it. Show yourself grace, show yourself gratitude. When you have gratitude moments, write them down and you'll be able to see in your journal, your elevation. Now, if all you're writing is everything negative, then that's all you're going to see. So, again, my motivation for you all is to baby steps, do what you can, ask people for help, speak positive into your life, and y'all will get there. All right, y'all, so this is the page for today. Um, I can tell you I am going to add and finish some more stuff on here once we get off of here. But these are the focal points for my self-care ideas for the week of April 13th through the 19th. Hopefully you'll work on yours today and you'll get one thing done off of your self-care list. Self-care daily, okay? So y'all have an amazing day. I will chat with y'all later.